So here's our radial arm saw with the blade guard removed. We are going to go ahead and change out the blade and put uh, the dado stack on. So making note of the blade orientation, it's cutting toward me. I already loosened this up. Um, it's important to note that this is a left-handed thread. So the whole concept of lefty loosey righty tighty does not apply here. It's righty loosey lefty tighty. Um, so I'm turning this to the right. the teeth are coming toward me and then so we're going to put the dado stack on the same way it'll cut a lot better that way so this is going to be so again I think I mentioned this earlier the side of the blade has got lettering print on it uh, that print always goes to the outside of the dado stack so if I, example, put this on this way, the teeth are going the wrong direction, they're going away from me. So this goes on the outside of the stack. And we've got two uh, sets of shims. I've got this, again, I don't know how wide this is, I think it's two millimeters. But I've got this thick shim. I'm put this on here. And we're going to get our chipper blade. We're going to put that on here again, noting the orientation of the teeth coming toward me. And then lastly, we're going to put our other stack of shims on. With these thinner shims, it's kind of finicky because, you know, the, the whole diameter is about the same as that arbor shaft. And because of the threads on the arbor, those really thin shims can get stuck in there. So you want to make sure that you're not going to end up bending them when you tighten things up. It should be okay. And again, we've got the print now on the outside of the data stack. And we're going to align the teeth such that we don't have any binding between the cutting blades and the chipper blade. Bring the camera around so you can actually not take it. I'll just rotate this and you should be able to see hopefully well enough. We'll put our large washer on here and we'll put our nut back on. Again, it's righty, loosey, lefty, tidy. I've been playing with this stuff long enough that I don't really, I never use that monomic. We're going to slug it up. Hopefully you guys can see this. So we've got, in this region, the chipper blade is absent because the chipper blade is just a, a thin blade. Um, so here there is a large gap in between the, both, the two outside cutting blades. Rotating it around, now we're at the chipper blade. Now we've got the two outside cutting blades here. Here's the chipper. Here's sort of the you know, chip removal part of the chipper. And that's lined up with the chip removal part of the next teeth on the outside and inside cutting blades. And so looking around, nothing is binding. There's a, a gap between everything, which is exactly what we want to see. Now the gap between this outside cutting blade and the chipper is thinner than the gap between the inside cutting blade and the chipper, and that's because we're using a I think it was like a two millimeter wide or a two millimeter thick shim on this side and only a 0.8 millimeter wide shim stack total on this side. That doesn't matter because the width of the teeth on the chipper is greater than the width of that whole gap. So the chipper makes up for everything. And in addition to that, the cutting blade teeth, they overlap on the inside as well. So that at the end of the day, the entire 
width of this is taking out material. You're not going to have like a little strip left over in between where teeth are not cutting. So the whole the whole width of that uh, 15, 30 seconds thereabouts is covered. So I need to orient this blade uh, to cut a, a half inch away from the fence because I have my sheet goods on here. This is one of my sides. Um, the back of this cabinet is up against the fence and the dado channel that I want to cut is a half inch in from there. So I'm going to get the blade guard back on here. I'm going to get this thing lined up so that we're a half inch away and then I'll get the, the depth set so that I'm just barely kissing the plywood here. And uh, I think next time I turn the camera on, I'm going to be ready to pull the trigger on this thing and, and rip this. Right.